Now we learn how to perform different operations on the internal table during debugging mode. So I will enter into debugging mode by typing slash h and execute. And after getting the record from the first select query, go to rest of 3. And here I have an XML record in the GT underscore list. Now click here. Now to perform different operations on the internal table. On the right hand side, here a very useful tool that is services for tools. Okay. Once you click here, we can see multiple options like table in ALV, save a file, okay, column configuration. The important point I want to, to, to explain here, like change table content, like how to change the selected row, okay, delete a selected row, add any new row, delete the whole table area like that. Okay, we'll see one by my, one by one. So let's take example. I want to edit this. The first one, I want to make this row as editable to change some values. Okay, so one option is like individual field. Double click here, click on this change icon, perform your change activity, press enter. Okay, now here my requirement is I want to make this complete row as editable. Close this. Okay, so how to do that? Select the record. Okay, I'm selecting one more record. Click on services of the tool and click here, change selected rows. If you click here, now see both the records, both this row, we can see in the editable mode. In real time, sometime we required to change the value at the runtime and to check the results. For that, you can make use of this. Okay, so here for the third record, my here quantity is 100. So I want to make the quantity as 1000 to check some activity. Hmm? So at runtime, time, I'm making here as 1000. Here it is, means I will change one more values. Once you press enter, this will be again into display mode. So first edit all the values and then click, then press enter. Okay, so what I will do, I will change some more values here. Let's say here, I want to add EA. This quantity I want to make as 5,000. Okay, net WR, I want to make as one lakh. And I want to add some text here, changed with tool. Okay. Now if I press enter, go to rest of three, go to that, double click again, see. So in this way you can see the edited value. So this is one way to edit a record. For example, even though there are 97 records, but my requirement is for some reason, I just want to delete some other records. I want only first five records. Okay, so either you can select the records and delete. And second option, just click here. I want to keep only first five records. Okay, so what I will do, I will select here, delete the whole table work area. Once you click on that, system will give one more pop-up. From which line, the first row and the last row, which we want to delete. Okay, so I know total, total 97 records are there. So I want to delete from six to 97. So if I press enter here, see, all the records are deleted. Now we have only five records here. Okay, in real time, I also make use of this activity. Sometimes we want to debug some big loops. Okay, and multiple records are there. Sometimes we want to debug only particular row. Okay, that also I will explain. Okay, the example here, my requirement is, I want to keep only this row, hmm? row number three. Remaining all, I want to delete. So how to do that? Select this, delete the whole area. Now I want to delete one and two. Okay. 
So one and two deleted. Now I have my record which I want. And again I want to delete remaining two. Again select this. And this time two to three. So like this way, based on our requirement, we can edit the data, we can delete the record. In the same way, we can also insert the record. Click here. And here we can use append row or index row. Suppose a particular position, if you want to add a new row, you can make use of this index. Otherwise, make normal append row. Okay. And here, as I deleted the record using this delete whole table option, there's one more option, delete selected records. Select the records and then either change or delete the records. Now, I want to add one record in this internal table. So, I will click here, append row. How many rows we want to add? One row. Click enter. Okay. So here we can see one new row. Let me try one more time with the index option. Okay. I can't see that record again here. So if I press enter, now you can see two records. Now again, if I click, then you can see the same. Now this time use index. Here, the target row. So I want to add in the middle. So I will add two, press enter. See the new record between the first and the second row. Fine. So like in this way, we can perform different operations on the internal table. We can change the values at the runtime. Fine. So in this way, we will learn operations on the internal tables. Next, we'll see some more details, some new techniques in the ABAP debugging that we'll learn in the next session. Thank you.